Raptors fans are fired up right now because former point guard Dennis Schroeder, who plays on the Brooklyn Nets, the team that the Raptors just lost to their 10th or 11th straight game. We'll take a look at this game as well in this video, but Dennis Schroeder had some comments about his departure from the Toronto Raptors, and specific headlines are getting taken into certain contexts, and now Raptors fans are mad at Dennis Schroeder. So we'll take in what he actually said, the full quote, and whether or not it makes sense for Raptors fans to be fired up, and also take a look at this game where the Toronto Raptors have more guys to run in and out of the lineup and a couple guys from press including new acquisition Kobe Simmons so few things to break down in this video but again if you want to stay up to date with everything regarding this team you know the drill if you're part of the 55% of people that haven't uh, hit that subscribe button just yet it would mean the world to me if you guys could hit that subscribe button but let's dive into first before we talk about this game because the storylines are more interesting right now than the actual basketball product out there on the court for this Raptors team because they continue to be taken L but people are fired up right now about Dennis Schroeder blaming the Toronto Raptors for his exit and then claims it was a good decision. Can be taken out of context a little bit, so we're going to dive in a little bit deeper. Basically, the subheadline is this is saying that Schroeder said the Raptors plan for him changed midseason and the club lacked communication throughout the process. Nevertheless, Schroeder said signing a contract with Toronto was the best decision because it paid the most. So, you see that headline, and it makes sense why Toronto Raptors fans would be mad about what Schroeder, maybe not mad, but you know, it, it just rubs Toronto Raptors fans the wrong way. Given the fact the Raptors started him, gave him a bunch of run, let him close games, had that tight relationship with Darko, all that type of stuff. Well, we look deeper into the quote. It's a mu It paints a Dar Darko paints Dennis Schroeder in a much better light. Basically, he said that the team and the coaches welcomed me very well. They have given me, they gave me a much responsibility and have set up multiple plays so that I can put my teammates and myself in the spotlight. The team, the people here value me. In Toronto, I had a good feeling when I signed the contract, but their plan for how, for how they wanted to use me as a player changed pretty quickly. I would have liked more communication, but that's the way the business works. So, that quote there from Dennis Schroeder is a lot more reasonable and more realistic in terms of what happened. The Raptors did sign him in the offseason when Fred Van Vliet left. They brought him in to be the starting point guard on this Toronto Raptors group. That was what, what, what happened. He had a lot of responsibility to start off that year, and the Raptors just frankly didn't win a ton of games. It's what happened with this team. You know, Schroeder was the the probably the easiest decision in terms of what Masai Ujiri had to make in terms of adjustments. Again, they brought him on the bench, then they traded for another point guard, and they obviously dealt away OG Ananobi, Pascal Siakam, you know, in this sort of mix of Dennis Schroeder getting dealt away from the Toronto Raptors as well. So they gave him the reins, they gave him the, the full leash to see if he could ban the point guard spot for this current or the current Raptors group at the start of the season with OG, with Pascal, with Jakob Pertl, and see how far they could take it. And they couldn't take it far enough, so Masai Ujiri shifted gears on terms of what was actually going to happen. And, you know, it's tough to be communica to communicate that when, you know, the season's ongoing, saying at the start of the year, hey, if you don't hit this mark, we're going to trade you, or we're going to bring you to the bench, or anything along those lines. But basically how he worded it in this quote, I, it makes sense what Dennis Schroeder said happened. And he would have liked more communication, but that's how the business works. Anyone would like a bit more communication if you're failing and then you need to uh, change gears, change directions. But he also went on to say that, you know, when asked whether or not it was a good decision to sign with Toronto, he said, no, it was the best decision because the Toronto Raptors paid me the most. The city, the club, the situation, everything was great. We lived 30 minutes from outside of Toronto, my wife, my children, and I met a, a, a lot of great people. I generally appreciate you know, getting to know at new NBA clubs, I was a little boy from, I don't want to butcher the German pronunciation, Braunschweig, might not be bad, I, I spent I spent a few days in, uh, in the Netherlands this summer, it sound kind of Dutch, German, but uh, different languages, but who dreamed of playing in the NBA, and now I'm playing in the best league in the world for my 11th year, I try to remember that every single day, so, Schroeder sounds appreciative, again, things didn't work out, Makes sense that he'd be sad that things didn't work out or be a little bit frustrated. He wasn't communicator's role change when he was gifted a very big opportunity at the start of the year. But people shouldn't be mad at what Dennis Schroeder had to say. So I wanted to give full context to that quote before I dove into this game reaction. Because that's something I saw a lot of people sort of grilling Dennis Schroeder for, you know, coming into this one. But... What happened in this Raptors game? Because I know not a lot of people are watching these games now at this point. The Raptors lost, which is a good sign because... 
The tank is on, folks. We all know it, right? This is just what happened. The Brooklyn Nets have been one of the league's worst teams as of, as of late, and things got even worse for them. You can check out Courtside Digest. You want to see a fumble that the Brooklyn Nets made ahead of this year's trade deadline. I'm on there now, you know, making a bunch of all NBA content as well. But basically, the Brooklyn Nets. They've been struggling lately, but they came into Toronto. They got the win. Looked uh, rough for the take fans out, tank fans out there as they uh, the Raptors had a lead, sort of closed off, and the Nets went on a run. I mean, looking at this roster, looking at this group, I mean, <sighs> Gary hit some shots. Again, not the most efficient night. Kelly Olenek still struggling from behind the three-point line. That could be a bit of a concern. He's still... Uh, Getting four turnovers in this game, which another concern for, for him, but he's been asked to do a lot for this Raptors group and not a lot to work with. So I'm not going to read too much into a vet who you know, has a long track record of very solid basketball. And he's still doing the positives pretty well. It's probably the best JFL game we've had, uh, Javon Freeman Liberty. 15 points from him, four rebounds, two assists. Like what I saw from uh, from JFL in this game. You know, Happy to see him get some buckets. Would love to see him have a great close to this year. But, uh, you know, Abaji continues to do solid on the defensive end. Hit a three tonight, 11 points. You know, the, the box score seems similar to the rest of his games, so I thought this was actually a pretty good Abaji game as well. Grady Dick, you know, he's going to continue to go up and down, up and down. I like his resilience. I like that he's continuing to take his shots, even when he's 0-5 from the field. Again, these are the games that are learning experiences for him. But eight points for Grady Dick. You know, off the bench, we got Bruce Brown, 10 points. You know, and I thought Kobe Simmons, uh, newest Toronto Raptor. I wasn't sure if he was going to get run or if he was just one of those 905 call-ups to see what uh, what's happening, but had seven points, you know, two steals in this game. Had a stretch where he was just, you know, hit a three, hit a finish. Just did a lot of great stuff in a very short period of time. So nice to see Kobe Simmons get the call-up and then do something out there on the court. You know, Mohamed Duguay, 12 points, one of three shooting. He, I want to root for the guy, but he has some impressed me that much in his short tenure with the Toronto Raptors. I like his energy. I like his hustle, though. Absolutely sold a fast break layup in one of these uh, possessions. But And Garrett Temple, proven he's a vet. Two points plus in this game. Had four assists. Doing all the right things out there. Hustling, doing his thing as sort of uh, you know, a vet in this Raptors locker room that's getting some run to close out this season. But, you know, it's tough to take, have proper takeaways from this game. It is what it is. The Raptors, they're in full tank mode. They're losing games like crazy. You know, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11? I might have lost count there. Glasses aren't working on me right now. But as you can see, the Raptors are taking some serious L's as of late. But we're pushing for that tank. I mean, the Raptors right now, we're clearing some ground on Memphis. Portland continues to lose a bunch of games. They've lost six straight, which is annoying the heck out of me because the Raptors, they're continuing to lose. It says we lost 10. I think we've lost 11, though. I, I think that's uh, what that number's at. But, I mean, if Portland could just win one or two, I mean, it's reasonable. I think if Portland, Delano, I'm trying to speak it into existence, DeAndre, and can get us a couple wins for those Blazers, if we can get to the bottom five, man, that would be huge for this team. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this Raptors game, about Dennis Schroeder. You guys are the best to make it this far. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. I'm signing out. Cheers.